Hello, so we are back and this time we have a nice laptop to repair. Mm -hmm. HP Pentium Gold. Not sure what Pentium Gold means, but looks like a nice, decent HP laptop. This job is coming from a local repair shop. It's saying no power. 80 pound job. Is it 40 pound? Can be. I will uh, apologize for my voice. I have like a, a cold. Let's plug the charger and let's check if it's charging. Okay, so plug in the charger. Oh, no, that's the headphones connector. Plug in the charger. And we do have the orange light, you can see. It's charging, 2.7 amps, you can see. So pressing the power button, and the laptop it is coming on, check there. That's strange because they said it's no, uh, it's no power. But no picture on the screen and the caps lock is flashing. Check there. One, two, three. One, two. That's a RAM memory issue. Okay. We had this kind of uh, repair video before. Uh, three longs, two shorts. It's a RAM issue. Uh, faulty RAM memory? No. Most likely it's a socket uh, problem. Let's open and check. Okay, so the laptop it's open. <laughs> Do you rec recognize this kind of uh, this kind of board? Uh, we had a few videos uh, before when the RAM socket is on this side of the board and it's uh, having like broken pins. You remember? And actually, I can tell you which one. So the broken pin is the first one, but it's inside of the RAM. So I'll say, let's take the RAM memory and let's try to have a look on the first pin. But you know what? This one is looking good. Yeah, so the first pin is not an issue on this uh, motherboard. No, all pins looks fine. Huh? Yeah. So what can be the problem? Let's move the RAM on the other slot here. Let's try to power on the laptop. Pressing the power button. And the caps lock is flashing, same as before. So how is possible? Because we changed the slot. Do you think actually is the RAM memory? Let's swap the RAM memory with a different one. Yeah, so we swap the RAM memory. Pressing the power button. And the caps lock is not flashing, but I can't see any picture on the screen. And we have no picture. I mean, the caps lock is not flashing, but we have no picture. You know what? Let's do something else, yeah? Yeah. We have picture. That's crazy. We have picture. So how, how the RAM memory can be faulty and it's loading the windows? That's crazy. Yeah, let me, let me shut it down and try again the other RAM memory. Okay, the laptop is off. Let's plug back this RAM memory. Wait a second. Let's check together. I mean, here is some sign of uh, like liquid damage. Check there. You can see that uh, white mark. Yeah, that's kind of like a liquid damage. 
but it's only there, only here. Let's clean it. Yeah, all good, clean. Let's clean the socket. Actually, the liquid damage was where? Here. You can see here on the top, yeah, there. There was the liquid damage, here on the top. But it's okay, we're not gonna use this socket anyway. So the original RAM is cleaned. Plug in the RAM memory. Let's see. Pressing the power button. And it's still flashing. Check that, the cut lock is flashing. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's analyze the RAM memory. Do you think actually can be some liquid damage under the stickers? No, it's looking good. Okay. On the RAM side, looking good. Can't see liquid damage. Yeah. Yeah, everything is looking good. So why this is not working? I mean, we cleaned the pins. Yeah, those ones. Okay, they are looking good. Perfect. Let's try one more time. Plug in the RAM memory. Pressing the power button. So the caps lock is still flashing. Still don't get it. Why this uh, RAM is faulty? Okay, let's try to be a little bit more aggressive with this RAM memory. So on this side, we have no chips, we have chips only here. Let's reflow the RAM chips quickly. We need a little bit of Rosin Flux. Perfect. So we'll be using 350 degrees. That's enough. Okay, that one is fine, it's moving. This one is moving. This one is moving. And this one is moving. So uh, we successfully reflow all four uh, RAM chips. Perfect, let's be sure uh, it's not hot. And that's fine. Now let's test it. Good. Pressing the power button. The RAM is still flashing. The cast lock is still flashing, sorry. Oh, that sucks. We reflow every chip there. Okay, let's go back to basics. If the liquid damage was here, it is possible to be like a broken track? It is possible. And most likely it is. I mean, the, the, the fourth, the fourth track, I can't see that track to be like one piece. Okay, so basically this one, 
So this one here. No, it's not working. Check that. It's not working. This one. The fourth one. This one. Let's see this one. This one, it is good. So the problem is this one. Okay. Let's fix it. All we need. It's a proper calibrated wire, right? A little bit. Yeah, that's all. Solder. Perfect. More rosin. Perfect. Solder. Perfect. Good. A tiny wire. Perfect. 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 Yeah, so we fix the track. Perfect job. Now all what is left is to clean. Hmm? It is clean. It is. That's all good. All good. Now let's test it. Let's test it. Plug in the RAM. The pins, it will not uh, reach our wire, yeah? So we are fine. Plug in the RAM. Pressing the power button. And the caps lock is not flashing. Hmm? We have picture! We have picture! Can't believe. Can't believe actually it's working. Yeah. Let me shut it down. Our repair RAM, where we reflow every chip, okay? But the RAM is perfect. So means we done everything perfect. Pressing the power button. The laptop it is coming on. And we have picture. Well done job. Now, you know, sometimes I don't understand myself. So why... I went to reflow the chips when actually it was liquid damage on a corner. Why I didn't check from the beginning? You see, sometimes we are doing things uh, without, you know, having like a logic. But still, I understand why the computer shop sent it here without testing with another RAM memory. Probably they didn't expect to be a RAM memory issue. Yeah. Okay, anyway, I will say uh, thank you for watching. And... Uh, have in mind, always try to follow the logic of a fault, like here, yeah, it was liquid damage, we should be focusing on liquid damage, not reflowing the chips because it's easy, yeah. Okay, so see you on the next one, bye.